Welcome back to the Rock and Roll Principal. I'm Curtis Shamley, your host. You're watching CentralValleyTalk.com. Hey, we got Chris DeVold coming up next. Sex and Drugs. Oh, yeah. Um, starting to be good friends with that guy. He's a good, good guy. All right, so my next guest is Bob Schultz. And he has a ministry called Restoring Freedom. No, it's not another political section uh, segment, but uh, welcome aboard here, uh, Rob. And uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do? Uh, it's called Restoring Freedom Ministries. It started out as a divorced dad's ministry, and then it expanded into helping men break free from any kind of bondage. In the bondage meaning uh, addiction, addiction, pornography, uh, alcohol, drug addiction, you name it. Right. These people could be addicted to just about anything, right? Yes, they can. Yeah. Any, I even think people that are codependent on people has got to be some sort of addiction too. It is, but I don't deal with codependency. Now, <laughs> there's also something that's called Celebrate Recovery. Right. That there's a lot of people out there. You know, you can go to about, just about any church and go to Celebrate Recovery, and uh, it's all about addiction and about everything that is right. a bondage type thing. So, no um, all right. So, <clears throat> tell the audience a little bit. How did we even get involved? I mean, you saw something on the on Facebook. So, yeah, actually, um, uh, Craig Thomas, another fraternity brother of ours, or His Kegger, name's Kegger. <laughs> brought my attention to your story and everything that was going on in your life, and then a guy named Gary Moore who worked with you in the district, Fresno kinda, Unified, Gary Moore, good yeah. guy. And so I actually connected with you on Facebook and kind of just wanted to encourage you on your journey, what's going on, and kind of stem from too. there. And um, so I didn't even know that we had this connection. You said that we did. Because yes. I don't remember most of the things at that time. I, it was blurry for me, too. You know, <laughs> so tell us about that. I struggled with addiction on and off for, for years. Um, a lot of it, a lot of the addiction stuff is identity issues that people have, you know, whatever that is. Uh, when I grew up, I was a tennis player, so that was my identity. It was in being the best tennis player I could be. And then when I got to college, the party life started, and that was my identity. Good or bad, it becomes who you are. So just so you know that we were fraternity brothers and Sigma Chi together. Right. And back in those, it was the 80s, right. if you get what I'm saying. So... <laughs> Uh, and in the 80s, I don't know if you want to talk about it, but I know there was a lot of cocaine. Cocaine. Actually, even back then, one of my struggles was uh, ecstasy. Yeah. Uh, we were and um, kinda, that's big right now, too. Yeah, so. but it was in 1986, and it, was, uh, it wasn't even around. And you know what, everybody? Me. Cocaine is flat out the devil. <laughs> Get behind me, Satan! Because yeah. that is the devil, man. And... Um, if anybody's ever done cocaine or done meth or anything, I've been up for three days, it's miserable. Looking out yes. the window, is that a cop? You know, so it, right. it's, it's just a miserable thing. Don't do it. Don't try it. Don't start. Um, but we were fraternity brothers, so, um, and then you became a Christian. How'd you become a Christian? I, um, back in 2002, I, it was my son's first birthday, and I'd gotten in a fight with my wife. Um, and disappeared for the day, ended up coming down to the tower and partying with a friend. And at like three in the morning, I just was, you know, beside myself knowing that I was missing my son's first birthday and broken. It's the first time in my life that I ever really cried out to God, you know, God help me. I didn't even really know what I was crying out to at the time. I was just broken and I was tired. I was sick of the way that I was living. And uh, at that point, about a month later, I'm at a retreat, and all of a sudden I understand what the grace of God is. I always thought of God as someone that just was sitting there with a checkboard looking at our good behaviors and bad behaviors. I didn't really understand what the grace of God was. And once I experienced that in my life, um, six months later I started Celebrate Recovery at our church and was um, doing that you know, with with New Harvest Church is where I go to church. And John Shemshwayan. Hey, John. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, we have a similar path. Um, you know, I missed my son's first birthday, but I did that when I was with the grip. We were recording. I was in the studio, and that it hurt so bad, you know, mm -hmm. and I never wanted that to happen again. And it won't, Kristen. I tell you, it won't happen again. And she's saying, sure, it won't. Um, but uh, similar path, too. I just got tired of living the way I was living. Right. Um, 
my my cousin got me to go back to church and I was doing a lot of things I shouldn't been doing and even the day of going to church I had been up all night and now it's uh, 11 o'clock getting ready for church and I haven't slept if you know what I mean and I did something in my car right before I walked into church going into church that day and um, and you know and that was the beginning of the end of uh, uh, the addictions and things like that so um, do you ever have those cravings anymore for cocaine or anything else he's he's taken those away good you know Me but too. Uh, it's just uh, it's just a such a better way to live you're not trapped in that bondage and always in fear and anxiety instead you're able to live one life you right. don't have to live that double life anymore well it consumes you it does you know and it's satan that consumes you and the only way to get away from satan really i mean the 12-step programs the all these other programs people just slip they keep going back they go back they go back and christ is the only way that will take the desire to do it away right um all right, so we, is this thing a men's club, or are there women in it? It is a men's ministry. Restoring Freedom Restoring is, a is a men's, men's ministry. ministry. Are you going to think about, I, I heard you have women that are wanting to yes, be Yes, eventually we will. Um, we meet every Tuesday night at New Harvest at 645. Did Guys, you hear that? If you want to go, if you're having problems, if you're going through some addictions, you're going through things, your self pornography, whatever divorce. else. Divorce. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, half of the United States is going through that, so there's right. got to be somebody out there. So... They can come to your uh, thing. Definitely. What time is it and where? We meet at 645 every Tuesday night at New Harvest. And that's on um, Minnewawa, 698. It's Minnewawa. a little bit uh, south of Buchanan High School. Right. And then you went to Haiti recently. I did with my Why daughter. Why would you go to Haiti? Isn't <laughs> on, that hell, Haiti? Uh, on a missions trip with my daughter. Okay, it was five dads, five daughters. Um, amazing, amazing time. Different changes your perspective on things that they have absolutely nothing and yet you see these people with so much joy and and love for one another and even for strangers you know and um it changed not only my perspective but my 15 year old daughters exactly if you that's how it did it with me when i went to mexico mexico on our mission trip i wasn't a christian then and i went and these kids want i knew about the bible i knew how to recite verses and all that kind of stuff but i went on a mission trip and these kids wanted to know about christ for me yeah. i just got done a couple of weeks ago doing something stupid you know yeah. so it broke my heart and i encourage every one of you out there even if you're not a christian go to something that you're serving a community because it's going to break your heart and you're going to ch it's going to change your life um all right so how do people get a hold of you if they want to join Restoring Freedom? Um, like, can they do a phone you number? Facebook? Yeah, you want you to can, put your phone number out there? What do you want yeah, to do? Yeah, phone number is 559-472-8817. Say that again. 559-472-8817. Okay. And one thing I want to say is that God loves you as you are, not as you should be, because we'll never quite be where we should be. And no. a lot of times we're trying to... And the thing is, is you're not Jesus. You'll never be Jesus. I'm not Jesus. I try every day. I fail. Right. Um, you know, I still struggle with uh, smoking. And uh, but I'm 41 days sober today, so I'm Praise I'm God. happy for that. Um, well, thank you for coming on, thank you. and good luck with your ministry. All right, thanks the Rock and Roll Principal will be right back, and we got a great guest coming up. Hey, um, feel good massage. <laughs>